In this episode, we're going to have a look at an old episode on infinite scrolling, and we're going to have a more modern approach to it. And this episode was released back in 2016, and back then, if you wanted to do the infinite scrolling, we used the Will Paginate Gem. And the basic trick back then was to use some CoffeeScript and jQuery to look at your scroll position relative to the document height and the window height, and if it was within a certain position, then it would load more. This not only was not a very performant way, but as you can see, it was also a little bit messy. And of course, back then we were using Rails, UJS, and it really did do the job well. However, in this episode, we're going to take a look at two different approaches in a modern Rails application with infinite scrolling. Both of the implementations will look at Hotwire. However, one method will be a bit more JavaScript heavy, whereas the other method, we won't use any JavaScript at all. And to start off the episode, I did already create a post scaffold, which has a title, and it also has some content, and as you can see, it loaded up all the records, and we are dealing with 10,000 different records. And so the first thing that we would need to do is to introduce some sort of pagination, so we're only pulling a few records at a time, and we're going to do this in a performant way, so we are minimizing the number of queries that we are calling to make this happen, and then we'll look at adding in the infinite scrolling. And similar to episode 29, a lot of the warnings and the use cases haven't changed. A Twitter feed or a Facebook feed would still be prime examples of where you would want to introduce some kind of infinite scrolling. However, you have to make sure that when you're implementing this, you are not putting links at the very bottom of the page that someone might need to access, for example, like a new post. And so you do want to take that kind of stuff into consideration when you're building out this kind of feature. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.